Covering Baker County now, where it appears new coronavirus cases are from community spread, not from nursing homes, the jail, or the prison. Monday, 22 new cases were added, the most in a single day in weeks. Today, six new cases. News for Jacks reporter Maggie Lorenz has been following the trends. The norm over the last couple of weeks is to see around a dozen new cases or more here in Baker County, and we haven't really seen a lot of new cases in jails or long term care facilities. With school starting on Monday, we're here at the Walmart in McClenny talking with parents doing some back to school shopping about how they feel sending their kids back to campus next week. Three more positive cases were added to the county jail August 4th. There was no change to the total number at Baker Correctional Institution, and there was also no movement on hospitalizations or new cases linked to local nursing homes, meaning the new cases we're seeing every day are happening outside of these facilities. I really just don't want to know any of that, honestly, you know, because then that causes a lot of fear in people, and I don't want to be a part of that. Upcoming Baker County High School senior Blakely Mallory says she tries not to pay attention to the numbers. At first, she was going to complete senior year online, but later changed her mind. I just liked the online school a lot better. I thought it was easier for me, but then I didn't want to miss out on my senior year, so I decided to come back. The district posted a document of health and safety guidelines for reopening campuses, which includes strict sanitation and screening before school, but masks will not be required on campus. You do have the option to wear them. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um... I'm nervous for her, but I'm, I'm excited for her. Mom Jessica Yarbrough has a daughter starting pre-K. She says she's kept up with the cases in Baker County. Yes, yes, I have. It's, it's crazy. It's wild. But even with her concerns, she wants her very outgoing daughter to start school among peers. Yes, she's starting her first um, year at pre-K. Her name's Jacy. She's excited. She's ready to go. The Florida Department of Education approved Baker County's reopening plan on July 30th, which says physical distancing is just not possible in many areas of campus, but schools will maintain smaller groups of students in shared spaces. Most of the larger school districts in our area voted to push back their school start date. Baker County has kept their original start date of August 10th, so that's just five more days to go. You can read the full reopening plan on newsforjax.com. In McClinney, I'm Maggie Lorenz, Channel 4, the local station.